Mm. Okay, yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Clayton Campbell's Taxi Cab Confessions. Uh, I actually have a very interesting little bit to talk to you about. Okay. Okay, as you may have or may not have known, I drive taxi in a town called Dawson Creek, and I don't believe I told you this before, but I probably insinuated it. It's a fairly bad town, like a lot of drug and, and gang-related uh, activities going on here. And uh, just the other day, uh, about two days before I'm recording this, uh, a fellow was murdered in uh, a seedy little motel called the Cedar Lodge. It's, it's the dive. It's the worst hotel in all of town. Like, it's never been fixed up or upgraded since, like, the 1950s. It's just just horrible. It's cheap, so that's where all the crackheads and the, the drunks, you know, they, that's where they go and to, to bunk out. But uh, a crack dealer by the name of Thomas was murdered there two days ago. They beat him up a whole bunch and dumped his body on uh, the, there's a, there's a, a hill outside of town. We call a mountain. We call it Bear Mountain. But he was, his body was just dumped up there, and the cops found it. And so I'm just going around interviewing other cab uh, employees of the cab stand here and just seeing what they have to think on the matter. Because after this all happened, one of our drivers, uh, car 15 by the name of Leo, I have him on film doing just doing something funny the, the other day there. He skipped town. He just vanished, and the night before he vanished, he came down to work and started freaking out, yelling and screaming at the dispatcher, uh, causing her to break down and cry so much that uh, she could barely write. Her hands were shaking so bad. You know, very juvenile stuff. Just, just dumb, dumb stuff. Thinking he's going to be killed next, and we were all saying, you know, why, Leo? Why are you going to be killed next? You're just a cab driver. But we all knew something was going on with him before. We'd all had little inklings that uh, he was into some kind of either selling crack through the cab or just really into the people that do it. Uh, because, well, there's telltale signs, I won't go into them, but the things that, you know, you can't hide from other cab drivers when you work. We know what's going on. <laughs> We're cab drivers. We know everything about everything. It's just how the world works. Uh, so he skipped out. So I'm going around here, and you'll see some more footage here and different uh, little bits of uh, talking to each of the cab drivers, some of the dispatchers, uh, the boss there, and what they happen to think of this situation and their, their, what they think happened. And, uh, well, frankly, I don't know what happened. Supposedly, Car 15, Leo, was the best, well, not the, but one of the best friends of this fella who was killed. And supposedly, he was the last person to see him alive, and... Supposedly, when the body was found, they, they dated it to, you know, what time of night it supposedly was left up there. But I guess he was up at up on the mountain at the time that the body was, I guess, supposed to be dropped there. So the cops are after him. He skipped town, quit without telling anybody, and he's gone. He's probably still in town hiding low somewhere, but nobody seems to know where he is, and the cops are after him. Now, Leo, is uh, he, could, he could be in with the drug trade type of thing, but he's not a killer. He wouldn't have killed this guy. He's the guy's his best friend. He just doesn't have an idiot to do. He's not, uh, he's not like violent like that. He'd, he'd hurt somebody in self-defense at the most. So he's a relatively good guy, except mm, he's kind of a junkie. So that's it for this. I'll, uh, when more becomes available, I'll give you some more updates. Okay, you were out from uh, Murder Central, Crack Central, Dawson Creek. Okay, uh, we're back here in Dawson Creek, and I got a, a little bit of an a uh, little bit of an update regarding the whole murder situation. Not much of an update as more information making it even more complicated. Okay, I told you about the one guy, the crack dealer by the name of Thomas, who was killed the other day. But I guess yesterday, so it's a day after Thomas was killed. Maybe another person was killed at the opposite end of town, actually just in town, not like on the outskirts, but just in town, near the end, near the edge of town, but not out of town there. Uh, there was a burning van called in by the RCMP. They, they, wanted the, they wanted the tow truck to come in, pull this burning van away. Now, when they, the tow truck company got there, the cop's car was stuck in the ditch, and the burning van was uh, not, they couldn't see where the burning van was. And I guess how this went is the cops called in the tow truck for the burning van and then found out they, they jumped the gun and just called the tow truck. They thought somebody torched the van. You know, it happens sadly often enough here in town. Then they saw that there was a body in the van. So instead of call off the tow truck and, you know, create some rumors, <laughs> they weren't very good at that. Obviously, rumors have already started going around. They took one of the squad cruisers and just ran off the side of the road. Not, you know, not like in a tree or anything, but just into the snow so they couldn't get out. So that when the tow truck driver came, they made him pull out the, 
pull out the the cop car and take that away instead of having to deal with the burning van. And then they got um, a different tow guy, like a police contracted tow guy, not uh, not the civilian there, to come and take the van away. So supposedly, another fellow was murdered. So we might have a, a rash of murders here in Dawson Creek, all most likely all drug related. And another little bit of information is uh, it might be the Hell's Angels doing it. We don't know this for sure, but uh, despite the fact that this town is a really bad town for drugs and uh, gang related type of activities, people just don't die that often. Last year, uh, a, a kid, no, two kids, one by the name of Clayton and one by the name of Natasha, I say kids, but they're probably about my age, you know, 20, 21 or one, they were both murdered in, uh, in their car there. Uh, it was drug related. They were told they weren't supposed to be seen together, and if they were seen together, you know, shit was going down. So I guess some guy from Vancouver either was here and he left Vancouver, or he came up to Vancouver, saw them, and put a bullet in both their heads. And then, but they got the guy. The guy's in jail right now. I heard rumors that uh, the people who killed Thomas were the same people that killed them a year ago. But uh, no, I guess that's just conjecture. But the the. The latest theory is that it's the Hells Angels that are doing it, which makes a lot more sense because, like I said, people just get beat up in here. They get beat within an inch of their life, but they don't get killed because it's just people don't kill people. That's just going a little bit too far. But for the Hells Angels, you know, that's how they get their shit done. You don't fuck with the Hells Angels. They're a professional gang. They're not little crack dealers trying to make some money. And, you know, this is their job. That's what they do. So if it was them, it seems to make a lot more sense. You know, you kill the one guy, you kill the other, guy, other people that he was involved with, and you keep killing until the killing's done. And that would make sense. And now all the crackheads and all, even the crack dealers here in town are running around scared shitless like a flock of chickens with their head cut off. Like, they're just going nuts. The crackheads are paranoid as it is. You know, now it's just way through the roof. If, you, if you've seen a crackhead, you know they're all sketchy and annoying. Like, that's how they act. But now they're like, oh my god, you know, there's a cop around every bush. And if there's not a cop around the bush, there's just some some guy going to ski mask ready to cut my head off because I know so and so who knows so and so who sold me crack that one time and I called him a loser, such and such. So uh, yeah, it's just getting interesting and interesting around here. Not that it never really isn't interesting, but we it's, we only get a murder every couple of years, which is actually a lot more than the most of Canada. Like I said, this is a pretty bad area. So. Uh, when some more information comes available, you'll have another live update. So, uh, over and out. See you later. Okay, Car 48, Juanita. I want your opinion on I'm the recent... Car 40. She's, okay, she's Car 40. Never never mind. I'm, I don't know nothing. I want your opinion <laughs> on the recent murder of Thomas the Cat Dealer <laughs> in Dawson Creek at the dive that is the Cedar Lodge Motel. And what you think the R Car 15 Leo has to do with it. Okay, go. Well, first off, he didn't die at the Cedar Lodge Motel. He died at Bear Mountain. That's something that I didn't know. Where somebody kicked the living shit out of him. I heard he, he got stabbed, too, a bunch of times? I don't know if that was him or if that was the other guy up, way up on 17th that uh, burnt-out van that got was dead. So Thomas was, wasn't in the burnt-out van? No. Okay. Thomas was up on Bear Mountain. Just a just body? Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Um, I think he got transported there. Well, he didn't walk up there and then beat himself up. So 5.15. Yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. And I think, uh, I don't think 15 did it. No, neither did I. But I do think he had something to do with it. Yeah, he was involved somehow. Supposedly they were best friends. He was an accomplice. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's my opinion. <laughs> Car 18, Frank. We need a little something from you. We don't need nothing. <laughs> well, I need you to move your hand so I can see your beautiful face. <laughs> you beautiful Come on. Face. Come on, baby. Smile. <laughs> Who's my cream puff? Smile pretty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, these two are married. 